welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. Your Sambo Australianus, and joining us here are a huge number of Super Zeros that you can't see just now, but we're here outside the Midtown MPD. Why are we here? We're here to celebrate the Olympics. You can see I'm on Australianus here, and I'm sporting my green and gold national pride colours. I've got a funny feeling that we've got some Super Zeros around here who are doing exactly the same thing, and I think we've got a couple of them on voice chat super zeros are you there in voice chat yes, yes we are yes, yes. 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 yeah hello hello, hello. Everybody. And by the way, before we go any further, I do want to make a couple of announcements and I'll get Kazin to help me out. Kazin, are you there? Yes, sir. How are you today? By the way, I know that you, you have created a new role within the Super Zeros team, the league, haven't you? And it's got something to do with organizing events. Can you explain to me what's going on? Uh, yes, we've made Choma in charge of events and uh, he's now the master of ceremonies. The master of ceremonies. Choma, are you there? Yes, I am. Well, firstly, congratulations on your new position. I understand that you've been organizing today. Is that correct? That's right. As the master of ceremonies, it's my job to organize events for the league. So that means from now on, any random thing you see, it'll be because of me. But right. also, some people may help. They may give out suggestions. So if you do, just let me know, and I'll talk about it with officers and see if we can plan it out. All right, that sounds good. I think this first one that you've done, I can see behind me, right, look at this, way down on the street below. Can you guys see that on the YouTube video? There are what look like hundreds of specks of confetti down there. And to me, it looks like something is going on. Let's fly down here and have a look. And oh my Lord, will you look at that? It is the mighty Super Zeros. Will you have a look at these guys? This is amazing. Okay, Chilma, what have we got going on here? Why is everybody lined up outside? the PD here because we're about to have a parade in celebration of the Olympics oh. and as you and everyone else on YouTube can clearly see our tunes are dressed in our national colors this is incredible I think yes well just like me I'm in I'm in green and gold because I'm on Australia Arnis. let's have a look here let's go down the line now by the way if any of you guys are on voice chat as I pass by you just say good day so that we can say hello to you because these costumes look amazing we've got plunder bunny we've got psionics Hey, how's it going? Hello, hey Psyonix, and you've got red, white, and blue there. I know where you're coming from, am I right? That would be correct. I'm coming from USA. Well done, mate. We've got the hardest speed. We've got Von MFG. And again, folks, if you're in voice chat, just interrupt me and say hello. We've got Torch Stab here, Magic Fear, Lobotomize Reaper. We've got Lady Solara. We've got the Virtue. We've got Fair Blitz. I know hello. you're there. Hello, Fair Blitz. Now, hang on. Let me have a guess. Let's see what your costume's all about. You're looking like a very well, I was going to say an English gentleman, but you're a female in here. Hmm, now where are you from? Oh, you're roughly along light lines there. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's a great national looking costume, if you ask me. Because, of course, we do know you as the English gentleman of the guild. Great effort there. Thank you very much. We've got full busters. We've got Kazin. I know Kazin. Kazin is online. And, oh, my Lord, you've got stars and you've got red, white, and blue. Mm, I'm thinking that you're perhaps from the USA as well. Would I be right? Yep, and UK, so... It's a little bit of both. Oh, really? Is that right? Of course, the flag colours are the same, aren't they? Yeah. The well, I, was born, I was born in the UK, but I live in the US now. There you go, folks. There's a fact that even I didn't know that. How is that? Maybe that explains why he's so crazy. Crazy, because then, and of course, right next to him is our favourite darling. It's Darling Spore. Hello, darling. Hello. Now, you're also, let's see, you're red, white, and blue. So, hang on, you haven't got any UK in you, have you? Uh, no, I do not. You're full not American? Yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, of course, as we all know, you're a fully married now in game <laughs> American. <laughs> but Kazin, you know what? It's always great to see you with clothes on. So thank you very much on behalf of everybody for that, by the way. Darling Spore, great to see you as well. And again, congratulations on last week. We've got, who else have we got here? No cheating. We've got Mental Blaze too. We've got Sergeant hello. Tatic. Oh, hello, Mental Blaze. Is that you? Yeah. All right. Now, let me guess. You're red, white and blue as well, right? Yep. All right, and I don't know, you're looking like you're a kind of a fan of Darling Spore. You're not one of her crazy army, are you? Yes. Oh, no. Darling Spore, what are you doing? You're taking over the league. Great to see you, Mental Blaze, too, and thank you very much for the effort you've put into your costume. Same goes to everybody here. Let's work our way down the line. Sergeant Tadako, are you there? Hi, Samba. Hey there. Now, you've got an interesting set of colours on. You've got yellow, blue, and red. What's going on there? Whereabouts are you from? Yeah, I am from Columbia. 
Oh, and are they your national colours? Yep. Oh, Yellow, blue, is, red. That is fantastic. Thank you very much for taking the effort to do that as well. We got Vera. How do we say that? Vera Ditas, I hope. Phoenix Magician. Jack Turnbull. Is Jack on voice hey. chat? Yep. Hey there. Now, you are definitely red, white, and blue as well, by the way, but I don't think you're from the US, are you? No, I'm hosting. Well, I wouldn't say I'm hosting this event, but I'm hosting the... My country is hosting the Olympics. That's right, actually. Now, whereabouts are you, like, in the real world? Are you anywhere near the stadium? I'm... In terms of England, I'm probably about as far away as you can get without being in Scotland. <laughs> I see. There we go. All right, thank you for dressing up today, by the way. Uh, you know what? I haven't had a chance to actually catch the Olympics. How is the UK going? How's Britain going? All right. I haven't managed to catch some all, all the events today. We didn't do very well in the cycling or the swimming today. Those are the only events I saw. Uh, um, but, apart, but apart from that, I'm I'm confident we'll do very well. Our uniform looks great. Our opening ceremony was fantastic, in my opinion. There you go. Um, right. National pride. That's what we like to hear. I haven't even checked up on how the Aussies are going or the Kiwis. I'm split down the middle, by the way, but we shall see. Thank you very much, mate. Coach. Lefebvre Verte, are you there? Hello. Now, you are all green, and you are looking like a fairy. I'm... Mm. Now, you don't sound Irish to me, so explain yourself. La Feverte means the green fairy. Ah, 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 she was born in Switzerland of French parents, and much later became very popular in Paris. Ah, well, that will explain your name and your look. That's fantastic, by the way. We very rarely see any characters that are fully covered head from toe in one color. So that's fantastic. Thank you for making the effort and thank you for coming along. We've got Ryu Murasami. We've got Dynamo Nature here. We've got Drynai. Hello to you. Hi, Sambo. Hey, how's it going? I was going to say we've seen you in a couple of events before. Now, you are yellow and blue. Whereabouts are you from in the world? Sweden. Ah, yes. So that is your national colors. And by the way... What is that headpiece that you're wearing at the moment? Uh, it's Burger Eye. It looks awesome. I've never seen that before. Your character looks absolutely fantastic, by the way. And are you cheering for Sweden in the Olympics? Actually, I don't watch the Olympics. Ah, oh, that's okay. You know what? We've got our own ones right here. We're celebrating them right here in DC Universe Online with the Super Zero. Thanks for coming along and changing your colours to your national pride as well. And here's Sapphire Icewater. A big hello to you. Obviously, red, white, and blue there. We've got Blade Arm as well. Look at that. That's fantastic. Absolutely looking like Uncle Sam, if you ask me, red, white, and blue. A big hearty. Yeah, that's a very patriotic salute there, I reckon. Hello. These guys, you know what? We're going to zoom right in so we can see everybody. Look at these costumes. You guys blow me away. We've got Gadget Hazard. Hello. We've got Ariana Woods. Oops, we have to have a bit of a jump there. We can't get over. Ariana Woods, hello to you. We've got Copycat J. We've got Punk Hero. We've got Faust Grey. We've got Zazat. Hey there. Oh, hang on. Faust Grey, is that you? Yeah. Oh, big hello to you. Now, you are, let me see. Let's see if I can guess here. We've got blue and white. Mm, oh, I'm terrible at my... I don't know, is, is it a European country? No, not really. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with my colours. Whereabouts are you from, or at least what colours are you sporting today? I'm from Israel. Oh, Israel. Wow. Amazing. Okay, so that is a long, long, long way away. And are you watching the Olympics? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, right. Great. No, 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 not currently. <laughs> not currently. No, of course, we're all tied up with much more exciting things if you ask me here in DC Universe Online. Great to see you, Faust, and thanks for coming along, by the way. All right, Zazap, hello to you. Hello. Hey there now, I yeah, you are definitely red, white, and blue, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, and you've got a star, look at that, you've got your stars. Oh, hang on a minute, you've got your stars and you've got your stripes. I see what you did there. How long did it take you to put this costume together? Uh, about 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much for putting the effort in. We've got Cop Cop there, hello to you. We've got Bullsy, Bullseye, actually, I think hello. is what i Hello, Bullseye. You're sort of channeling Captain America there, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, that is great. How long did it take you to put your costume together? Like two days. Wow. Wow. Two whole days. It really, really makes a difference when you guys put an effort into a costume. Unlike myself, I'm terrible with my costumes, but that looks really, really good, Bullseye. Thank you very much. Mind Blaster, hello to you. Hello. Hi. Hey, a big salute to you, and you're here on voice chat. Let's see. I can see your stripes. You've got stripes in your chest and on your feet there, and I'd say that your skirt there is representing the stars. Am I right? Yep. Yeah, that looks fantastic. What about you? How long did it take you to whip yours up? About 20 minutes to a half hour, going yeah. through all the styles to figure out what would be, what would look best. 
Oh man, I'm, yeah, I would be terrible. Can you imagine how long it would take someone like me to make a costume like that? No, actually, don't even start to imagine that. You'll get a headache. Great to see you, by the way, representing the US of A. We've got Wing Nature there. Hello to you. We've got all heels. Look at that. That's interesting. All heels here has gone white as the base color there. Let's give them a cheer rather than the other way around. It's great to see that. We've got Awesome One. Hello. The Confidential. Hello to you. Give them a hearty salute. And of course, we've got a whole lot of folks here representing the good old US of A, which is no surprise. We've got Murdoch. Hello to you. Light Guard. Hello, guys. Let's give them a wave. Star Kestrel. Surely Star is on voice chat. Yes, I am. Hey there, how's it going? Now you are really mixing it up here because you've definitely got, I can see the stripes on your costume there and do you know what? You remind me of, I'm trying to think of who your character reminds me of. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I can't think of it. Is there any inspiration there? Uh, not really. Look at those wings you've got. I've never seen them before. What are they on your back? Uh, they're from the uh, Robin T1 PvP gear from the Tech Wing. Ah, oh, okay, that's probably why I've never seen it before. And by the way, Mind Blaster, is that who you think it reminds me of? Perhaps go on, let us know. Who did you think it was? Yeah, Sylvester Stallone in, like, The Expendables. That's what, that's it! That is it! Ten internet points for you there, mate. Well done. <laughs> Definitely looking a bit slyish there. Thank you very much, Star, by the way. Looking great. And, of course, here he is, Luminous Scent, the Master of Ceremonies. Hello to you, sir. Hello, Simba. Hello. And you've got an interesting head going on there. Tell us, what what is that? What's on your face? Full slimline. Uh, I would have wore the original mask, but since Luma's wearing regular clothing, she wanted to keep her secret identity safe. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea to me. And by the way, congratulations, mate. This event is a major success so far. Let's hope that they carry on that way. Thank you very much for all the effort you've put in behind the scenes. Cheers. Okay, Always glad to help. Red Robin. We've got White Crown Phoenix. Look at these guys. We've got Incendio. We've got a ah, shiny, a ah, shiny. Let's have a big wave to these guys. Hi, hi. We've got Black Arrow. Wow, they look great we got dr frosty x hello dr frosty we've got admiral all-star there's death How you frost doing? Oh, who is that? Admiral or Dr. Frost? Yes. Admiral. Admiral. Hello to you. Now, let's get in close and have a good look at you. Oh, yes, I can see your star and I can see your stripe. Now, you've gone off the beaten path a little bit here. You've got a slightly different blue and red, haven't you, to a to a normal color? Yeah. Is, are you, is your character inspired by anybody? Um, well, this is his normal outfit and I wanted to go with a Captain America type look. Yeah, definitely. You've achieved that one. Fantastic. Thanks for the effort and thanks for coming along. We've got Lantern281 there. Big hello to you. Hello, hello. Uh, I don't know, guys. What do you reckon? She's looking a bit Darling Spore-ish as well. Darling, are you infecting the entire league? No. Why would you think that? No. And you know what? She's probably batting her eyelids as she says that. I can just see her now. Evil. I'm shaking evil, my evil. fist. <laughs> We've got our... Oh, our natural. Is that you? Yep. Okay, hang on. We're going to get you to say hello, Sambo. And we're going to see if folk can guess where you're from just from your accent. Go on. Say good day to me. Hello, Sambo. Mm, let me see. I don't know, guys. Let's let's talk to the entire Super Zeros. Anyone got any guesses as to where our natural is from? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Ooh, Manchester? Um, yep. <laughs> Manchester? No, I don't know. Who said Manchester? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Come on, Nature, guys. Nature, obviously. I, 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 know, I know it. It's Munchkinland. Munchkinland. There we go. Ten internet points. That must have been either Jack Turnbull or Fair Blitz, judging by the action. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jack. It wasn't it was me. Jack. <laughs> wasn't it was me, definitely Fair <laughs> Oh, I know my Munchkin natural. history. Of course, we've got green. Good old green. In fact, you know what? Green and yellow, we're looking very... Let's get. Let's stand together here. We're looking very similar, you know, our natural. Well, even though we're from opposite ends of the earth. And, of course, AU is from Ireland. Am I right or am I right? Uh, yeah, you're right. There you go. Great stuff. You're looking very, very classic there. You've got the classic boots on, the classic sort of slimline outfit. You know I love that. It's my favorite. It's not because I love latex, by the way, guys. I just love the retro look. There we go. Thanks, AU. We've got Jade Sniper. We've got Strong Willed. And we've got... Got Gadget Hazard. Look at that. Gosh, that's a really cool. Gadget Hazard looks kind of like a Power Ranger, if you ask me. And I love Power Rangers. There we go, folks. Let's have one more scoot up and down the line here. Now, while we do that, what are we going to be doing, by the way, Chilmer? I believe we've got a bit of a parade about to happen. Is that right? Oh, yes. Ooh. And you're invited to come along with us. Oh, can I? Can I? Excellent. All right, folks. Let's zoom right up and have a look. Look at that. Look at them all down the bottom there. That is amazing. It is a sea of Super Zeros. I am so proud. Let's hop away now and come back when we've got this parade happening. We'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back, guys. Here we are standing next to Luminous Ascent. Hello, sir. Hello there. 
Now, I'm just looking behind you here, and this is a parade to end all parades. What an amazing sight we've got here. Stretching out off into the distance behind you are the mighty Super Zeros in their Olympic costumes, if you like, their national pride colors. This is an incredible sight, is it not? Oh, yes, it is. It makes me proud to be a part of your league. Do you know what? It is our league. It is certainly not mine. It is all of our league. And by the way, are we still there, Super Zeros? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hi. Still there. By the way, Woo! Darling Spore, you know what? It's a blur looking down this line, but are you in the line back there somewhere still? Oh, yes. Now, you're next not to Kazin and I'm next to Kazin and Psyonix. Oh, okay. So you've got esteemed company. Kazin and Psyonix. I hope you're keeping an eye on her. She's not causing any trouble down the back there, is she? Hey. She's, uh, she's, she's always there. causing trouble, but that's, we got our eye on her. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> right. It's only, I swear. It's only I love it trouble. when she causes trouble. Uh, what are you talking uh, about? We have to deal with Darling Sport every single day. We mess with you because we love you. Of course we, we love, love you. Guys, we, love yeah. you. Oh, we love messing with you. All right, so Luminescent, this is pretty much a parade. And again, you've organized this along with the guys. I yep. think what you're going to do is, well, you can explain to us what is going to happen next. Well, I'm going to give the signal and then we just make a complete lap around the little, around the Midtown Police Station and just keep doing it until you tell us to stop. All right, well, I think that's a great idea. Let's do one victory lap. And of course, this is going to be basically like our very own opening ceremony for the Olympic Games that we're celebrating in Super Zero style, in DC Universe Online style. And this is exactly what we're about here, having lots and lots of fun. Will you look at that again, folks? Look at that line. It goes so far off into the distance that I actually can't see the end of it. That is amazing. Super Zeros, if you're watching this, you are mighty. We love you so very much. All right, so I say one lap, one lap around. And of course, we're going to do it at normal run speed not movement mode and that means yeah one lap and we'll end up pretty much exactly where we are so i'm gonna just hop off to the side here luma so we can get a good look at this and then we'll come and okay. join you and i say i say that it's going to be up to you to say go 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 i'm going to help you out here so i'm going to type go 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 ready in my chat are you ready to go oh yeah all right well i think because you're our events organizer here it's up to you to kick this one off so whenever you're ready okay. give us the signal all right ready set Go! 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 go Ooh, like there the is. He go. is off, and look at this, folks. We've got... Look at that. We've got Luba. We've got Copycat. We've got Gadget Hazard. We've got Strong Willed. We've got Jade the Sniper. We've got Fair Blitz. Hello, Fair. We've got Our Nat. Hello. Hello. We've got Galendi. Gosh, it's hard to read everyone's name. We've got Death Frost. We've got... Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is getting too difficult. I can't read them. Look at them all go. This is an amazing sight, folks. This is our very own Olympic parade. In fact, let's get up a little bit higher here so we can catch the action as if we're a... What do they call those cameras there? Like a, on a crane? That's what it's like. We've got our very own Olympics. Look at everyone go there's all heels there is mind blaster hey mind blaster there's bullseye hello we have got ariana it. woods hello look at this it's almost as if it's a lap of honor wow blade arm ryu massimo oh my god this i you know what i never thought we would be able to pull this off this is our very own olympic parade hello la fe verite there he is the green fairy running along the street there and jack, hey, Tim jack Turnbull. you've got yourself an aura on there haven't you yes that looks, blue aura for the uk that is right that looks awesome there's there goes kazin there's kazin and there's a d20 that must mean that fair blitz is around here somewhere if you ask me where's darling sport i think darling sport did you just run past did i miss you, I did, I miss you, you missed there? Me. Oh, there she goes there she goes she's got blue glow as well look at this guy's got dr frosty x and now we've got the guys up pulling up the rear here we've got star kestrel hello and some <laughs> We've got dynamic, look at that dynamic nature is carrying a car. Can you believe that? That is the most hilarious thing I think I've ever seen. There goes mind blast. Oh, okay. We need to see this from the sky. Let's have a bit of a scoot around way up. Let's see if we can go right above the PD station here. And look at that, folks. The entire Super Zeros League is completely circling the PD. What do you reckon, guys? Is this a success or what? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Aside from Kazin cheating. Oh, it's Kazin cheating. Let's down. He's flying. He's flying. He's flying. There he is. Do you mind if we join you while credit. you're running around lap, the lap here, Kazin? Hello. Uh, yep, go ahead. All right, how's it? Are you holding up okay? How's your breath? How's your breath? Yep, how's your endurance? I'm, I'm, how's your endurance? I'm good, good. Water. All right, you're looking, water, you're looking for water. We've got people asking for water. Let's let's zoom up and see if we can see some other folks. We've got Zazap up here. Hello, Zazap. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you holding out in the parade so far? 
Oh, not bad. Not bad. All right, good stuff. You must have eaten your wheat bix for breakfast, and you probably don't know what they are. You're not coming from Australia. From Australia. Yes, any Australians will know exactly what that is. Here's darling. Oh, okay. Alert, alert. I've found a I cheetah. I know what you mean, I found but a I can't eat gluten. Darling Spore, what are you doing? Are you trying to interrupt the race here? Absolutely not. I'm taking a breather. Jeez. Oh, oh she's taking a breather, she says. I don't know, guys. Do we believe her or not? Hold on, no. hold on. Let me come to her. Let me come to her. Standing on a street corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me eight chance I can get help her in a minute. Start giving me money. Let me, let me go get my car. I'm coming right now. I'm right but behind you, you all. There's Luma. I'm surrounded. Let's all gather around. Let's, let's gather I around, Darling Spore. Luma, we're going to leave this up to you. What do you think? What's your judgment here? Is Darling Spore trying to disrupt the race or is she having a breather? Hmm. Well, she is sweating a lot, so yeah, she was taking a break. <laughs> hey, I'm a flyer, okay? I'm not. I don't run. I fly. Oh, dear, here, oh dear. here, darling, get in. Here we go. All right. Where? I can't even see you, cause then I'm surrounded by people. Oh, we're surrounded okay, everybody. By people. This, Get your head clear, like, this like. is an apt way to end our introduction here, folks. And by the way, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all of you guys here on Voice Chat and indeed everybody in the Super Zeros League who has turned up here today to celebrate the Olympics, sporting their national colours. This has been amazing. So, guys, if you're watching along from home, take a good look around. And, of course, if you'd like to be a part of the fun here on DC Universe Online with the Super Zeros, all you need to do is follow the instructions in the description below this video you too can be here and you can help us give darling sport a completely hard time week in and week out and <laughs> yourself it is worth the price of entry if you ask me don't go away oh, then, folks and 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 one more thing yeah, one more if thing. you are already in the super zeros and you have an idea for an alert event we should do in the future just let me know and i'll talk about it with the officers and you may get a chance to see in the future there you go folks you heard it straight from our events managers our ceremonial master's mouth and of course you can do that through the website but as i said don't go away folks we've got something else coming up we've got an instance coming up and then a race to qualify for a spot in that instance so don't so go away don't in the meantime feast your eyes your upon eyes this, upon this. The mighty the super mighty zeros super will zeros. be right back Welcome back, folks. Here we are at the site of our race. And you can see everybody's organized here. We've got the mighty Super Zeros behind us. And we're in a party here. And I've got a few people in it. We've got Kazin for a start. Hello, sir. Hello. Now we've got Fair Blitz. G'day to you. Hello. And we've got Veriditas. Hello. Hey, Samuel. Hey there. Now, first things first, I can see we're all 30 and you are level 10, but I know there's a good reason for that. Why is that? Well, um, I play in Europe and since Pro 7 and Set 1 um, took over DC Universe here in Europe, we had to link our accounts. Right. And this doesn't work somehow. So uh, I had to make a new account and re-level the character. You know what? I've seen a lot of our mighty super zeros that are from the EU have posted a number of complaints about that and I can imagine why so very sorry to hear that so you're not on your normal character in other words are you right my normal Veroditis looks exactly the same except I changed the color right now to represent Germany my country ah uh -huh, there we go yes red what have we got red gold and black right uh, right black red and, and gold all right and the uh, G for Germany right on the chest oh there we go yes G for Germany good stuff you know what? I'm, uh, I'm thanks to this. F uh, Phoenix magic and by the way was his idea I just uh, go with with the flow. Yeah, why not? That's what we're here for. And yes, hello, Fair Blitz. Of course, looking like the stately English gentleman that you are. Hello. Although, of course, I keep forgetting you are, of course, female in the game. And look at him behind us there. And Kazin looking crazy with his. Well, yeah, again, that's your UK USA mix up there. All right, so Kazin, this is a race that has got a number of things kind of special about it. Firstly, apparently, when we actually run this, we get changed into something. Is that right? Yes, this is a multi multiplayer race and we get transformed into gorillas to uh, run it and everybody can race against each other oh boy okay so this is an actual competition we all know how good i am at the races <laughs> Off. So this is going to be fun. But why also are we actually having this race in, well, I guess it's kind of like the Olympic spirit to have a race, but I understand there's an even higher reason that we're having this race today. Yeah, the uh, top two finishers in the race will, will go with you on your alert run. Aha, uh 
Aha, there we go. So it's a qualifying event. There you go. Look at that fair blitz. Oh, I don't know. You, what's your confidence level like, fair blitz? Do you reckon you're going to get a spot in today's alert? I hope so. I've been practicing a bit. God, he's been practicing. Oh, dear, oh, dear. All right, I'm doomed. Wait, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. What if I don't get in the top spots? Does that mean I'm not allowed to go on my own alert? Well, well we yeah. don't have an alert. <laughs> we, have a free, your alert. we have a free pass. <laughs> if that happens, we're replacing so you with Darling's Ball. You oh, get man, man, to place one. <laughs> Poor old, look at that Darling I can hear her acting all innocent in the background. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't even do anything. You guys are taking on me. I'm just over here laying down. Jeez. I think he said that if Darlene, that if Samuel doesn't get in the alert, Darlene, then you take over for him. I'm hiding right now, okay? I'm uh, yeah. Definitely should be hiding. Gonna give her such a hard time every single week, I think. All right, so here we are. We are in our party. So we've got Viriditis, we've got Light Guard, who probably can't hear us at the moment, and we've got Kazin and Fair Blitz. So good luck to you all. I think we're ready to rock and roll. This is going to be hilarious because I'm so terrible at it. Okay, so um, before I hit E, because then it's my understanding that once we do hit E, we'll get changed into the gorillas, and then do we have a bit of a countdown, or are we straight into it? No, it's uh, after you change to a gorilla, there's a 30 second countdown from whenever the first person starts, so everybody has time to change, and then and then it'll be a go. Alright, well, I don't know. I think we're ready to rock and roll, are we? I, I might as well kick it off. Might as well get this over with, folks, and no no laughing, no laughing, or I'll cry. Here we go, gonna hold down E, and there we go, multiplayer race, primate propellant, flyer multiplayer, break free of the human race, and devolve to ape form, complete with a jetpack, a jetpack, oh my god, to conquer this course and beat platinum time, invite others and start the countdown, oh look at this, bronze is a minute 40, silver, gold and platinum a minute 10, there's no hope of it, here we go, accepting the quest and hopefully I'm going to get changed, oh I am, I'm getting changed, here we go, the race starts in 23 seconds, we are all gorillas, look at this, this is crazy stuff, oh this is bringing back horrible, me you know what, I'm breaking out in a sweat already folks, oh no, here we are, 10 seconds to go, 5, 4, 3, and you know what, my frame rate is awful, I'm going to use that as an excuse here, and it is awful, oh dear, here we go, that's better. and they're off, and they're off, here we go, we're racing away, and I think I'm last, okay, now one of you guys needs to explain to me what the 1 and 2 abilities are, please. The one and two boost. abilities oh, gives you speed boost. Speed they temporarily boost. make you go faster. Now you tell me. I'm, you know what? I'm completely lost already. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit one. There we go. There's my speed boost. And do you know what? I completely missed the first gate. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. Well, that's normal. That's normal. There we go. Okay. And the frame rate has gone nuts again. You know, what? I'm blaming the frame rate on this one. There we go. I think everybody in the Super Zeros League over there is going to be laughing at me. They're thinking, "What on earth is he doing?" Here we go. All right. Following the gates now. Now. We've got it now by the way who's in the lead way way off of the distance there me oh okay well done all right and through another hoop we go here we are and again i'm blaming my rubbish frame rate on my loss otherwise of course i'd be winning you know how it is <laughs> oh. do you guys believe me sure <laughs> uh, yeah we yeah, really sure. believe you you're such a Veriditas. good racer yeah, man yeah, fair blitz you were the best racer Ver ever Veriditas won fair Ooh. blitz got second oh cause then what happened are you gonna Congrats. play I missed the second did first it. loop I had to go back oh you're just like me you know I'm following bright eyes back here who is also racing hello oh and I passed somebody here we go you know I'm pulling up the rear here how long is this I am still not finished and the guys have finished like what 20-30 seconds ago this is incredibly terrible. Now you guys know why I don't race, although I'm sure once you see the episode you'll see that I was hampered by technical difficulties. Yes, I call shenanigans. Yeah, sure, they say they don't believe me at all, do they? Blaming the tools, that's right. You know what, I, I'm too scared to use my speed boost, do you know why? Because I used it at the beginning and I completely missed the first brick. Here's number two. Oh, oh, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Flew past the finish line, and guess what I got for a reward, guys? Nothing. What? I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice. You in the cheap seats back there. Oh dear, oh dear. Here we are, back at the finish line, and saying a big hello. Let's wave to everybody here. That was terrible. That was an absolute abomination there. You know what? I think off camera we're going to have to have a rematch due to technical difficulties, <clears throat> if you ask me. So let's recap, folks. Who I was fourth. Who was third? Who gets the bronze medal in the Olympics? I got the bronze. That was you, Kazin. Congratulations. And who was 
second place. Who was silver? Fair oh, Blitz. Oh, Fair Blitz. All right, so hang on, Fair Blitz. You were pretty... You, you've been practicing, and you were pretty sure that you were going to actually place first there. What happened, man? I missed a ring. Oh, you missed a ring. I'm not the only one that missed a ring. And What's by the way, congratulations, on? man. Yeah, second place is still pretty good, but here we are standing next to the winner, Veriditis. How are you feeling, mate? I'm pretty surprised since I thought I would be third or fourth. Oh, there you go. Now, how did your race go, though? Did you actually miss any rings as well? Um, I almost missed one, but thankfully I just got it. Well, and at the finishing line, I, I got a uh, uh, fair blitz just about a millisecond with my uh, second ability. It oh, was so really close. Did, so you used your ability, and that's what won you the race. There you go. You know, again, I'm way too scared because it was going to shoot me off in a direction that I couldn't control, and I'd miss a ring like I did. I couldn't believe it. I was actually about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds into the race, and I'm thinking, how come they're all white and it's because I'd missed the first ring the very first ring can you believe it yeah I'm sure Good you job. guys actually can believe it never mind there we go that has picked us the well myself we've got myself a fair blitz and veriditis who are going to come along in the alert run and of course folks for the fourth slot we'll be doing a random number draw so I think what we'll do is we'll say goodbye to the super zeros here and we'll see you guys on the other side we'll be right back Welcome back, folks. Here we are on the inside of our alert for this week. And once again, we're joined by three other mighty Super Zeros. We've got Star Kestrel. G'day, mate. Hey. And we've got Fair Blitz with his mighty D20. Hello to you. Hello. And joining us is our winner this week as well, by the way, who came first in our race, as we know. Veriditis, hello to you. Hey, Samo, and Fair, don't throw that D20 at me. Yeah, <laughs> be careful. It creeps the hell out of me. Of the D20, I know. Oh, look at him, he's laughing away there. All right, so yes, guys, because of poor old Veriditis' issues with the account over there in the EU, and by the way, we hope that that gets itself sorted out very shortly. You're having to run, look at that, he's crying. We're having to run on level 2. 10, and of course that means it's good old area 51 you know i don't mind coming in here i think we're going to set a record as to how many times we run this instance maybe what we'll have to do in the future is see how fast we can do it maybe maybe each time we come here we'll see if we can beat our previous time i don't know we'll never think about that let us know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea because that could make area 51 a lot of fun now before we go any further guys i'm pretty sure that we've got another activity happening this week fair blitz is that right uh yeah Yes, that's right. Uh, we're going to be having another event similar to the one that went on this week with the races to oh. determine positions for the next alert. You know what, I really like this idea because it means that people have to have a little bit of skill in the races and of course I have none in order to get a spot in this event. So I like the idea of that. Veriditis, where's a good place to go and check for the details? If somebody wants to know the finer details about how to join this race and what time it is, where would you go to have a look at that, do you know? Well, I would say we ha you had to go to our, uh, the website sign of our mighty super zeros. That is a brilliant idea. Ten internet points for you. Fair Blitz agrees. So head along to our website if you want to check up on the details of that. And of course, there's always a link in the description below this video. And of course, that is superzeros.engine.com. And that is E-N-J-I-N. Superzeros.engine.com. And you can check up on all of the details. But in the meantime, we've got more pressing matters. And by the way, I've noticed here we've got an objective, guys, that says defeat invading Brainiac drones. It already says... 9 out of 50. If I have a look over the ledge here, let's have a look. Is that because our our allies down there have already started attacking the drones? Is that right? Yep. yep. Well, and they're, and they're pretty good at it, I must say. Do you reckon, guys, do you reckon if we just stood up here for the next half an hour, they might finish the whole alert for us? What do you think? Where's the fun They'd of that? They'd probably get pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it would probably work, but uh, I don't think you're... Uh, you know what's like what like that so no, I, don't, I don't think it would make for very interesting viewing so are we ready guys we're ready to go and lay the smack down let's do it let's do it in we go now of course folks we are all level 30 except for poor old Veriditis here so we're gonna have to keep an eye on you my good friend just in case you get a bit of a beat down yourself self-destruction imminent self-destruction is indeed imminent and of course we've got a couple of objectives we're not only wanting to beat down on these brainiac subjugators but we also have to discharge the brain Maniac energy cells, as I'm sure you guys have seen before and know. Now, how's everybody going for their collections in here? Fair Blitz, have you got every single one in this instance? I've got every single one in the game. Oh my lord, every single one in the game? I'm so... Okay, serious, whoa. 
Yeah, that is that is a serious... Wow, amazing. I think you just... Did you get an achievement for that? Some kind of feat? Yeah, there's plenty of feats for them. Yeah, oh. there are three 50-point feats. One for collections, one for briefings, and one for investigations. Wow, I'm way behind the A4. What about you there, Veriditis? Have you got anything in here? I mean, obviously, maybe not on this character, but on your main characters, have you got all of the collectibles in here, all the shiny? Not, not really, no. I'm actually the first time in here, because uh, with the real Ver Veriditis, I was doing mostly PvP. Oh, okay, PvP. -er. Uh, you, now, you know how good I am at PvP, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I could being, teach you. He's being very polite there. There we go, 24 out of 25. Where's the 25th? There it is, right behind us. Let's go and grab. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them respawned. Let's grab that. There we go, all done. Defeat Subprime Regulator Alpha. We're blasting through this, guys. This, of course, is our first boss. Let's see if we can rise up and remember where he is. I think he's over this way, isn't he? Up on the balcony here. There he goes. All right, are we ready for our first boss? Yep. Yep. All right, in we go. In fact, I'm going to let somebody else go in, even though I'm a tank, because we're overpowered. We'll let somebody else. There we go. Look at that throwing, throwing a tank at him. That's a good start. I'm going to lay off the DPS. I'm going to hang back here just so we can make these fights a little bit longer. But I don't think he's going to last too long. He's almost dead. And there we go. There is our first boss down. Hello, Martian Manhunter. And retake their ammunition supply point. If resistance is too heavy. Strip the Brainiac Force's neural cores after you defeat them. This blinds their servitor and stops further reinforcements. Here we go, you heard the man. First things first though, let's have a look at the fat loots here. And of course, because they're only level 10, I'm going to pass on them. And let's see who got them. Oh, congratulations to you, V. Well done. And I can, you know what, folks? I can see if I go into my inventory, I think, I think I got myself a Promethean lockbox. I think. Same here. Oh, really? Oh, look at this. I got a supplementary gearbox. Oh, that was from PvP. Gosh, I still haven't opened them. But I'm trying to find the Promethean lockbox. There it is down the bottom. Look at this. Why are these slots different? You all know, of course, my inventory is overflowing. I think I'm going to have to ditch a couple of things here. Let's do that. Hmm, what can I get rid of? What's that? An equipment mod. I've got so many things here. There we go. There's a vendor trash. I'm going to delete that. Open the Promethean lockbox. Let's hope I get myself an aura. What did you get in yours, by the way? Uh, I can open mine since I got no station cash at this account. Oh, dear. To buy oh dear. the key for it. Never mind. Okay, here we are opening my first one. Let's see what's in here and why will it not open? Would you like to open it? Yes, I do. You have more items in your inventory. Oh, no. Look at that. I actually can't. I'm going to have to sort that out at another time. I actually cannot open two of them. I've got well, two you, lock boxes here. You could give, uh, throw away another item or give it to me. I could carry it for you. Say no, that. you couldn't because you're free to play. Oh, of course, no. the trading. Boo, he says. Boo. Never mind. We'll sort that out at another time. Let's grab all the loot here and of course as always folks you can see on our map this is broken up into four or five different areas and you can see it's asking us to head into the center i think that's exactly what we need to do let's go for it guys and i'd imagine by the way Ver oh veriditis do you have your super speed ability yet oh uh, yeah i got it but i don't really like to use it Ah, uh, okay, all right. Just interesting to know in case we're running ahead too fast. Here we go. We're straight into the action, folks, in the second phase of Area 51 here. We've got to defeat drones and recover their encryption cores. And you can see lying on the ground here, we've got these fallen Cadmus agents that we have to help and extract as well. So lots of objectives for us to do here. Here we go. Now, Viriditis, I know that we're here and we're making things a lot easier, but you know, what would it be like for you if you were doing this at level? I'd imagine it would be a bit of a challenge here. I would probably die at the first boss already, so... Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. That's all right. You're protected by us. I am going to... Oh, that's a collection, that one. I'm going to need on the collection because I don't have that one. And I hope you guys all do the same, by the way. So, Fair Blitz, by the way, last time we had a really good chat to you, I think you were engaged, landlocked in a war between yourself and Darling Spore. Have you got any update on that? Uh, not a lot has happened in that recently. D20s oh. are growing ever stronger. People are all buying more D20s. Oh, good stuff. I think you're solely responsible for the purchase of D20s in the game, if you ask me. And by the way, there's... I like to think so. Of course. There's a nice green collectible hanging around there. Does that mean somebody has rolled on it? I'm not sure. What does that mean? Uh, green are, in, are investigations, so, right. so those aren't per person. That's Everyone can get that at the same time. Oh. Those metal heads are still after by the way, where did you see it? I need to get it. Oh, over there. There it is, right next to me right now. 
Oh, over here's one too. Might yep. be the same one. Some of them have multiple spots yeah, they show it up. Yeah, probably is. In the first area, I already saw one and another one, and uh, they both were the same, so yeah. And believe it or not, I've already collected that one. Amazing. All right, let's head up the top now, and we can see we've got more agents here to extract. And you can see we're up to 30 of 50 in terms of defeating the drones here. And we've got... How's that? We've only got one out of six of the Cadmus agents. That's terrible. We have to defend them while they do a teleport thing. Ah. Okay, so if you're like me and you engage it and then just run away, that's not going to help them at all, is it? No, it isn't. They are in the buildings. Oh, the building ones. That's what they are. That's right. Okay, we'll head to them in just a second. Of course, we like to clear away the drones first. So what are we up to? We're uh, 44 out of 50. We're nearly there. Let's get them cleared away, and then we can go and help those agents. I do remember them. There's six of them all up. So you guys have already done one. Thank you for that. Not a second. Make that two. Oh, look at that, two. They're leaving us behind. Here they go. All right, so now we're just up to, there we go, the Cadmus agents. So let's head inside a building, and yep, this one where Star Kestrel is, looks like a likely candidate. There we go, activating him, and that's right, of course. You guys must remember, if you're watching along from home, you have to stay here while that countdown timer goes down. And of course, we've got, there we go, all the subjugators coming in to try and thwart our plans. Look at that, basically one-shotted there. That's amazing. Now let's go through the team and remind ourselves of everybody's abilities. Fair Blitz, starting with you here, apart from being an awesomely amazing English gentleman. What is your power set? You look like you're awfully fire-based, if you ask me. I'm a fire tank. You're a fire Same tank. Same as you. Just like me. There we go. Star Kestrel. I think the glow of your green ring gives that away, but tell us what your power set is. Power set is... Hard light. Hard light. Now, you've got to say, is that one of your most favourite... I mean, for me, it's one of my most favourite power sets. I absolutely love it. What about you? Yeah, this was my first character, and I'm still playing him because uh, of the powers. All right. That to me means that you like him. There we go, the Cadmus tech has nearly counted down. That makes four out of six. And I'd say that we have to head over to the other building now. Yeah, definitely, let's run over there. Now, what about you, Veriditis, what are you? I'm a tech one. A tech? And I must say, I love it, especially the fear gas. Oh yeah, I remember fear gas on my tech character as well. Are you, are you a controller, are you DPS? What's your actual um, role? I'm, I'm DPS since I have no idea how the controller really works. I have to read into it, but yeah. I would like to try it for the league, so... Absolutely, and in fact, you know what, we've had a number of our episodes here where we've had some great controllers play with us, and they've kind of explained what it's all about. So I'm, I'm very much like you. It's a very difficult role to play, if you ask me. It probably takes a lot more brains than I actually possess. That's probably why I'm no good at it. Here we go, folks. It looks like we've got the last two going on at the same time. Now, if you're running this at level, by the way, Star Kestrel, is it a good idea to activate more than one if you're running this at level, or is that going to spell death? I uh, probably don't start them at the same time, but you could probably still get by with two. Okay, so maybe stagger them or something like that. There we go, five out. There we go, five out. Just waiting for our last one to count down. There we go. Defeat Regulator Beta. There he is. This is our second sub-boss, if you like, in the instance. We're blasting through it today. Lots and lots of fun. Let's head outside, head up top, of course, which is where he is. And once again, I'm going to sort of stay back if I can. Maybe just deal to the ads that are here. Let's see if I can make this fight last a little bit longer. We'll see how the other guys go. There's Fair Blitz leaping in. And Ferroditus, oh, got knocked back there, nasty. And Star Kestrel going to town with a chainsaw there. Oh, and there we go, all done. Let's have a listen to Martian Manhunter. In the command base. Here, we may have an edge. The base is radiating a subsonic interference wave that affects the Brainiac sparks in the area. Flip their neural cores and you can reset them to your advantage. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Star Kestrel, what is that you are holding? <laughs> I grabbed Fair's rebound. Oh, he's taken it from me. Look at that, he's off. They're off. They're battling to the death. Let's, while they do that, let's have a look at the loot here and see what we've got. We've got a 12th level thinking helmet and oh, oh, Veriditis, I can't believe it. That requires the role of a controller. There you go. So it's your, it's fate if you ask me. There you go. Congratulations. Let's have a look at the map folks you can see as always we're progressing through the instance and now we have to head up to where the other lads have gone up to the northeast there you can see we've got to eliminate 
control tower patrols. We've got to reprogram defeated Brainiac Sparks. And oh gosh, we're getting attacked again. And we've got to activate the Cadmus defense consoles. Let's do it, folks. Let's head on up there. And of course, if you're lost, all you need to do is follow the yellow arrow on your minimap. It is nice and easy. So this is a all too familiar area here. And again, if you're playing this at level, this can be a little bit nasty if you ask me. Because they can really swarm on you. I don't know, when's the last time you played this at level, Star Kestrel? Uh, actually, not all that long ago. I'm working on an alt for a video I'm planning on doing this weekend. Oh! Oh, that's great! You know what, by the way, when you do make a video, if that's the case, we love to see more content. Can you please make sure that you set it as a video response to this one? And that way we'll make sure that okay. we go and see that. So looking forward to that one. What about you, Well, Fabulous? by the time I get it edited and everything, it'll probably be on the next League event. <laughs> <laughs> Collectible! That's okay. okay. Any time at all, we'll gladly have you as a video response. Now, Fair Blitz, how long has it been since you've been here at level? Oh, it's been a way long time. A way long time. Welcome back to Area 51. All right, what's our score so far? We've got 10 out of 50 of the area patrols here, the control tower patrols. Let's maybe head along to the, what is that, the east? Let's see if we can find some more. We've got two out of 25, only two out of 25 of the reprogramming of the defeated Brainiac Sparks, and that's these guys here. So you make, have to make sure that you hit E over them. There we go, five now, much better. Oh, yep, well done. And of course, that's the great thing. It sort of creates these other little characters here when we do that. Does anybody know, do they help us in any way? Yes, they do. Oh, Not good. much, but they do. Oh, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Now, where are the other lads? Let's see if we can go and join them. We've split ourselves up, and of course that's terrible, terrible team behaviour on our behalf. We're shocking, aren't we? And of course, it's understandable in this case because it's so easy, because we're so overpowered. There we go, there's Star Kestrel. Hello, come up the top with you. Yeah. And these are the, oh, they're the activating of the Cadmus defence consoles. Let's see if we can get one of these down. And that should make it 6 out of 16. Well done. And, oh, you know what, Veriditis, you're carrying something. I keep forgetting to do that. I am terrible. I'm always forgetting to either grab a toxic barrel or something like that because, of course, it all adds to the DPS count. You definitely need to do that. There it goes. Flying over the top of all of our heads. Good throw, kind sir. And he's smacking people over the head with them. Oh, how I wish we had these powers in real life, if only. That would be awesome. It would be awesome. Now, I've got a question for you guys. Last time we were here in our alert run, we were doing the summer event. And of course, that was the Tides of War. Fair Blitz, is that finished now? Not yet. It's still going on. Oh, it's still going. Good stuff. Will it be still going by the time this episode gets uploaded? It should be. It'll be up until Game Update 17. Oh, good stuff. Well, there you go, folks. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you go back and check out our last episode. That'll show you what to expect. And there's a very cool instance there, all to do with... Atlantis, we've got Ocean Master and everybody else, Aquaman especially of course, and that was a lot of fun. It's a very fast instance to do as well and of course it'll net you those. Oh, I've forgotten what is, can anybody tell me, what is the currency that you get from doing all of the events for the summer event? Uh, They're good sand dollars. Sand right, dollars. Sand dollars yeah. That's the one, okay. So of course you'll want to get them because it means you can go to the vendor and get some fat loot from him. It's only available during this event, so make sure you do that. Alright, here we go, we've got another couple of these. We've got eliminating the Tower patrols, a 38 out of 50. We've still got a fair way to go there. We've got, what's that, 13 out of 16 of the defense console. So now, of course, it's all down to having to have a bit of a scout around and seeing what we can scrounge up in terms of enemies and console. So I think what we'll do is we'll forgive everybody for splitting up at this point and we'll probably all go to different areas and see if we can find the last remaining stragglers here to fulfill our objectives. Yeah, but you can bet I stay with you. I'm not going anywhere. Alone. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, just because of your level. One little hint is for the consoles to look in the air and you can see red rays of light to the ones that you haven't got yet. That's a great idea, actually. Now, forgive me, Veriditis, I'm just going to fly up. I know you can't join me because you don't have flight power, but let's do what Fair Blitz says there. Let's have a look around and... How this is a bad time because we just got the last one. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, well done. So we can't see any more. Here's Star Kestrel. You still with me, V? Where are you? Did I lose you? I run away. Oh, okay. But oh, I'm, I'm joined with Fair Blitz now, so... Oh, you know what? You're probably in better hands. You're probably better off being with Fair Blitz anyhow. Here we go. We've got 22 down. And let's see if we can get the rest of these. 23. Two more to go. And then, of course, it will be mini-boss time once again. There they go up the top there. 
let's see. Oh, what are we looking for? One more. One more Brainiac Spark. We need to reprogram. And there we go. Defeat Subprime Regulator Zeta. Here he is. He's having a look for us. Don't you worry, mate. We will be coming in and dealing our own form of justice to you. Let's form up in front of him, perhaps. Oh, there's Star Kestrel. Hello. Actually, I'll form up on you. We're behind him, I guess. Behind and above. We'll wait for Veriditis. Where are you? There you are. Coming in. Here he is. I'm somewhere up here. Yep. If you leap towards Just him. Just crawling at the wall. There you go. I can see you. We're up above you and we're kind of, yeah, if you go towards the boss, he'll say, all right, actually, you can stay down there. Why don't you trigger the fight there, Veriditis? Hopefully you won't die and we'll leap into your rescue. Off you go. Go on. Let's take down some. No um, problem. Regulator Zeta. Let's see what he goes. And Fair Blitz has got the mighty D20 and we are off, folks. This is, I think, if I remember right, the penultimate boss. He's hopefully going to fall pretty fast with us mighty super zeros here being at level 30. And look at that, it didn't last at all. Martian Manhunter, hello. Now is the crucial battle. Just beyond here, a Brainiac Servitor and its greater accumulators oversee the transfer of the Kryptonite onto their ship. You may not want to face this battle alone. Once the accumulators are down and the kryptonite is safe, Oracle will hack the ship's teleporter so you can deactivate the Prime Servitor you heard the, the man, so we can deactivate the Prime itself. Servitor itself. Before we go any further, let's have a look at the fat loot. And this time it is a reinforced Koluan Spalders. And of course that's really around the level 10, so I'm going to pass on that one. And I'd say, Veriditis, this is your lucky day today. You're going to be the benefactor of all of the loot. It's, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's especially good. lucky. I just reached level 11. And oh. the best part is, I now got my gliding line. Ah! I oh, love it. Look at that. It, it, there it is indeed. Congratulations on level 11. Well done. All right, you may, you, you know what? You might even get another one out of this yet. Okay, so you can see. Probably, yeah. If we have a look at the map, you can see we're going to head down south there to one of the, well, one of the near final areas here. We've got to defeat the greater accumulators. Zero out of 25 and secure and recover green kryptonite. Oh, kryptonite. Zero out of four there. And by the way, before we go any further, Star Kestrel, what is that that you've summoned there? That abomination <laughs> with claws. What is that that is the trinket from the summer event it spawns a little pet and since i have the controller one that can give back a little extra power oh you know what i'd be wanting to see what that looks like i haven't seen it so there you go speaking of the summer event and i'd imagine did you get that with your sand dollars yes 10 sand dollars there you go a bargain at half the price obviously all right so if you guys would like your own little pet like that then you're gonna have to run that instance fairly quickly i'd say fair blitz what did you say it's uh, available to gu7 17, I think, is that right? That's right. All right, so there you they're go. also quite high item levels, so if you want to get your combat rating up, they're quite a good idea. Oh, yeah, they right. are. You you need to be level 30 to get oh, them. Well, you, you can very. buy them before that. You just can't use them until you hit level 30. All right, good advice there. Thank you, guys. And Veriditis, oh, seriously, he succumbed to the D20. This is Fair Blitz. You're at. I, I want me one to you want give me a D20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's head off up, up and away as we make our way to the next one here. And of course, this should be a familiar site. To anybody who's run Area 51 before, this is the mothership, if you like. And, of course, the Prime Servitor is up in there. First things first, though, we've got to transport these lumps of kryptonite. And I think they're, there they go, there on the platform, Zen. You can see we've basically got to take them over to this place over here where I'm looking and transport them to that shed. I don't know what you call it. We've definitely got to take them over there. There we go. Star Kestrel has grabbed one already. And you can see him flying over. He is doing just that. In the meantime, I'm going to back up support here and see if we can take down these greater acute Accumulators, which of course we have to get 25 of them and that's going to help out because of course it means that there's going to be less interruptions for the guys and gals who are going to be picking up this kryptonite here and taking it back and delivering it to the drop off point there we go star kestrel has got another one now star let us know by the way when you pick up one of those is it like when we pick up other objects in the game and you get a guiding arrow so you know exactly where to go yep all right so even if you have no clue where to drop it off you can follow the arrow and it's all going to be good so if there are I can see you taking on the great accumulators on your own here, doing very well by the way. You had no support then. How how was that fight? Were you managing to survive okay? Uh, yeah, I did, but I ran out of power, so thanks oh. for coming in. Oh. Never mind, I'm always doing that. Alright, so it looks like we've got two... There, let me fix that a little bit for you. 
Oh, of course. Of course, Dark Kestrel. You're going to be able to help out there, aren't you? Good stuff. There yeah. Stuff. There yeah, yeah I was out of combat, so I switched over to controller. Oh, well done. Well done. Of course, that answers the question that we get on the channel a lot, which is, you know, can you switch roles in the middle of things? And the answer is, well, you can, but as long as you're not in combat. All right, so that's three or four. And there goes Fair Blitz. Fair Blitz has the last piece of kryptonite. And, of course, that means that that's going to open up the teleporter, which is going to allow us to get up into the mothership there and face our final boss. There it is. Destroy the Prime Servitor. So if we gather here, folks, you can see that we've got a teleport here to the Brainiac ship. So if you're playing along from home, once those objectives have been filled, you're oh, and we got friends. We got friends. Hello. They want to come in and see their boss, I reckon. That's what I think. They'll well, they want to go play with us, so yeah, I say we let them. I think so. Well, we help them out there. So, of course, yes, what opens up is the teleport to the Brainiac ship, and that is right below it. We can see right above us there is the ship. So are we ready to rock and roll and deal to the Prime Servitor? Veriditus, are you ready? Sure. What about you, Fair Blitz? Are you and your mighty D20 ready to take down the boss? Let's do it. Star Kestrel and your green glowing ring, are you ready? Yep. All right. And by the way, before we head in, there is one little trick, and I think, in fact, it might have been you, Fair Blitz, that told me about this one day. If we're doing this at level, you know that there's a phase in here where all sorts of lasers and light shows start zapping around the place and hurting us. I think there's a trick to avoiding them. Fair Blitz, was it you that told us about that trick? Uh, not as sure. It's probably a while ago. Oh, probably a while ago. Well, you know what? I know what it is. And that is that there's these little nooks and crannies under the archways around the edge of the, well, around the edge of the ship, if you like. So Veriditis, especially for you, because those lasers might hurt you quite a bit, you can actually hide under the archways. And I'll show you that when we get up there. And it's a great trick. I can't remember who showed me, actually, but it's a fantastic idea. All right, let's do it, guys. Teleport ourselves to the Brainiac ship. And there he is. It is Prime Servitor, who hopefully doesn't know what's about to hit him. His days are numbered. All right, who would like to kick this fight off? I don't know. Who do we send? Who do we send in first? What do you guys reckon? I, I've got a, I've got an arrow with his name on, so I want to start the battle. There you go. Way you go. On your mark. We are ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it just like uh, I'm gonna give him an arrow to the knee, and he will never do evil again. <laughs> An arrow to the knee! Oh dear, oh dear. You know what, I think every single episode that meme comes up. Alright, ready when you are, V. On your marks, we're waiting. Let's rock this! And there we go, we are off. And by the way, folks, you can see these are the archways that I was talking about. I'm just going to show you. And if you sort of tuck yourself in under here, just like that, that will help you avoid the lasers, the laser beams, when the ship starts shooting at us. There we go. Prime Servitor sends a distress call already. There are all the ads. I'm going to try and keep off the boss here to see if we can make that last a little bit longer. There we go. The Brainiac Sparks can help take them out. Prime Servitor yeah, is we can't top. fight him while he's up there, while he's calling for help. Yeah, and of course we managed to clean that up very, very quickly. There he is. He's returned to normal. And let's run around the outside here and make sure that Star, Fair, and Ferroditus get a good, fair whack at him. There's nothing like beating down on a boss. So did you guys... Oh, there you go. So Ferroditus, you've obviously found that little protected point there. So you know what I mean, right? If you stand under there... And fact, it's, it's the perfect place to shoot at him without getting hit by anything. Absolutely. It's great. In fact, here come the lasers and we'll all take cover. Of course, for the rest of us, it's not going to do too much damage. But Ferroditus, they certainly start eating away at your health. There's no doubt about that. Well, this is cozy, isn't it? We've got Fair Blitz, Fair Diders, and myself. Now, where are you, Star? I can't actually see you. you found yourself a next hole. one down. Oh, you're in the next one down. All right, there we go. We'll wait this out. And Fair, Fair Blitz has decided to take a nap. You're right there. Are we keeping you awake, sir? Just about. Just about. There we go. He's back to return to the fight. And well, I know about... just how he feels, all right? Yeah, you know how he feels, he says. There we go. He's about 1% health. It looks like Prime Servitor's days are numbered. And there we go. It is all over, Rover. Congratulations to us. A mighty cheer. And there we are. There is the scorecard. Let's have a look. Oh, for some reason, the scorecard has gone blank. That's weird. And it said it was all undefined. I don't know if you guys can see your scorecard, but mine bugged out. That's no good. Has anybody else got one up? Yep. All right. So well, uh, who can help me here? I know. I think Star Kestrel, you might be able to help me out if any of us wanted to go and watch a motion comic that we've ever seen before can we do that or once it's played is that it uh you can go to your deeds menu and look at headlines not all of the headlines trigger a motion comic but there will be ones with a play button next 
to him. If you do N, that'll take you to Renown. Oh. Then escape out of that and headlines. I'm seeing the scoreboard now, and I must say, uh, Sambones. <laughs> Uh, yes. I, I made I made like six thousand damage. You made like seven thousand damage. There, there is go. something definitely wrong with that. <laughs> there you go. That is my uber skill at work. And by the way, thank you for that. Look at that. We're scrolling through all the headlines here, and you can see, of course, that Blaze Purple has got a ton of them. If you ever want to watch a movie again, you can just pop in here to see it. So thank you very much for that. Of course, we've got some fat loot here. Let's have a look and see what it is. It is a miniaturized Synthium chest guard. I'm going to pass on that, and I dare say that Veriditas, you are going to be the benefactor of that. So well. Oh yes, congratulations, you definitely got that. Come and join us in the lineup, V. And Fair Blitz, tell us, what on earth is that? You look like a pterodactyl. How did you do that? It's another of my toys from the marketplace. Oh my gosh. You you know what? You and Regina J. Lacerda from our Guild Wars Let's Play, you two are the worst shoppers ever. Star Kestrel, what are you wearing? That is the trinket from Central City. Oh, it God. temporarily transforms you into this form, boosts a different stat depending on which role you get the trinket for. Ah. Okay, and by the way, have you ever seen such a sight as a pterodactyl holding a D20? Fair Blitz, you are bonkers. You are a mad man Englishman. That's all I've got to say. You are completely bonkers. That is, you know, if anyone had said to me, what's something you'll never see in your life? I think it would be something like a pterodactyl holding a D20. Now, what about you there, V, on the end? You've gone invisible. What are you doing? I'm just stealthing around a little. Stealthing around? Is that and, part of your power set? Uh, yes, it is. Um, you got it with uh, the second point in the traps uh, uh, tree, oh, okay, right cool. after the grappling line. Right, right. Now, by the way, what level are you? You're 11. How far along your XP did you get in terms of heading towards level 12? I still need about 55%, I would say. It's nothing to complain about, though. One and a half levels from an Area 51 alert. I don't know, that sounds pretty good to me. But there we go, folks. That was a lot and lots of fun. I would like to thank my companions here in this alert. We've got Fair Blitz, we've got Star Kestrel and Veriditus, all of whom of course helped make this happen. Thank you guys and of course I always love looking forward to our league events. Don't forget to go along and check on our website for the details of the competitions for our next one because this could be you in here and you know what? I really love the idea of having competitions for at least two of the slots in these because that means you have to work for your spot and I like that because we we'll always have a random draw for the last one. But there we go, folks. On behalf of myself, Sambo, Blaze Purple, the mighty Fair Blitz with his D20, Star Kestrel with their glowing green ring, and Veriditas with their, well, looks like a little mini Death Star with blades hovering there, if you ask me. As I say, take care. Certainly hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you're having a great week wherever in the world you are. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then, and bye-bye. Well, goodbye from me, and join the league if you're not already in it. It's the greatest league ever made and that will ever be. Hope to see you guys all soon. Have a nice evening. Goodbye. Goodbye from Fabulous and the Mighty D20.